Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon and I'm here today to do a flip through for you of a small collection of little vintage journals that I've done for my Etsy shop. I absolutely adore these um, little books. I love making them. They're so much fun. They make me happy. Um, happy Sunday also. Um, I also have some envelope stacks and some small Mary journals that I've been working on. Um, using the digitals from Debrina, uh, the Pixie Dust files. So that'll be coming up early this week. Uh, but I wanted to just put these little books out as they're finished. They're so cute. And um, yeah, just a Sunday, um, you know, fun day. <laughs> so I have three. Um, they're all relatively the same. I will go through each one so you can see the differences. Um, the cabochon image is different, and um, uh, but they're all one signature. They are all the same size, six by four and a quarter if you include all the ruffly things. And um, I just love them. So I don't want this to be too long, um, but as you can see on the cover, I'm making these beautiful cabochons with the IOD, that's Iron Orchid design, um, molds for paper clay and resin, and actually you can use them for food also, which I think is really cool. You can make cookies shaped like this. Um, but so I have that. I have a beautiful, um, holding this book up close so you can see the details, I have this really pretty rose, um, a little chandelier crystal, which is really beautiful, it's really sparkly. Um, I added some gorgeous sequin trim, some beautiful papers, um, each one says a different word. I have blessed, gratitude, and happy, um, beautiful vintage buttons. They all have this gorgeous mint colored chiffon ribbon and they're stitched. Um, one signature I think I mentioned and then the Tim Holtz linen tape on the edge for extra durability. And um, so two layers, well four layers of cardstock for the covers sewn together and then edged in gold. So I think I got all the details there. Um, they all have this really fun, um, I don't know if it's antique or not, but it's just so fun, this little um, pom-pom trim here on the bottom, or tassel trim, rather. Um, so this inside, um, this is what changes the papers. So this one has this beautiful peach color. They all have my embroidery sort of little... <laughs> Yeah, um, beautiful tag. They all have this sweet little image. I just love the sorry silk little safety pin. They all have a crown wax seal. Um, but here you can see this trim is so fun. I love it. And uh, what else? Yeah, the crown um, stamp, this beautiful rose paper. I came across these gorgeous little paper flowers. So I added a little bunch of those with some antique laces. These books definitely have the antique trims. Um, some are from my mom's studio, antique book pages, French book pages. They all have a darling little ballerina girl with some sorry silk. I added some tulle here, a little dress. And then there's fussy cut. Roses, some more beautiful beaded trim here, some embossed um, cardstock there, and then just a lot of beautiful images of the birds. Everybody's got a different bird here. Um, I did make some tabs out of wallpaper and then an ode to the mama bird. I love this page. This might have to be my favorite page. Um, she has her little nest and then I embroidered in this golden yellow thread right here. Um, this little antique lace here and I just love the golden yellow color and then in this part um, and so yeah this these all say something different this one says you can fly and then lots of journaling um, some pretty little tags and tux um, ephemera and um, I tried to make sure that there's a lot of pages in here so I'll show you as we go this is one of my favorite images here I love this golden color with the blue, it's so pretty. 
backed it with, um, I think this is from my Speckled Bird book. And then you've got some music paper here. Um, and they all say Speckled Bird too, inside on the cover. So fun. Um, the only thing I forgot to add is my antique tape, which um, all of these will get little pieces of the antique tape. Um, on the other side of the music paper, gorgeous, gorgeous um, printable from the Pixie Dust Files. These are just absolutely stunning. And then I did the, um, I added the gold paint to my tea dye. And um, her imagery is just gorgeous. If you all have not been to her channel, you have got to go see her digitals. Um, and also chapter one papers. I am absolutely in love with the uh, uh, chapter one papers. Um, so here is the um, writing pages. And then um, if you've watched these videos before, you know um, I took a whole bunch of copy paper and coffee dyed it and then I sprayed it with shimmer mists and I put um, paint into a squirt bottle. I just had a lot of fun and I, I love this textured dotted kind of speckled look. It's sort of like the robin's eggs, um, you know, inspired we'll just say. <laughs> So all of the pages have that. Um, they have a little crown stamp and then this pretty little wreath. And then I love my st uh, speckled stamp here. So that's all hand stamped. Um, I was gonna say something too, I forgot. Um, oh, so I'm gonna go through this book a little bit slower so you can see all of the, um, the things that come with this book. And then the next two, I'm gonna go a little quicker because what you know, I'll show you the differences, but basically the layout's all the same. Uh, they all say notes up top. They all have this cute little tuck spot here with this gorgeous bird. Little piece of antique lace here and another one of those little flowers. And then I love this netting lace. It's so delicate, so pretty. And then I showed you the little cutie, this gorgeous little cabinet card. And then I just put one of these. This is a Tim Holtz. Um, snippet thingy but I love it it's so cool it just adds so much character um, this little page says all things grow with love probably hard to see um, but it's done in the robin's egg blue color and then you can definitely see the colors from my fun art day I had um, this little piece is from a book that I have and it was stitched together but I loved where the stitching was just for some extra interest. So I gave everybody a little piece of that, or all three books rather. And then on this side, um, another page for journaling. It's hand stamped, beautiful story. And then um, a beautiful um, ephemera from the chapter one papers. And then a gorgeous little tag I made with some fun po uh, polka dot sorry silk, so little crochet, and then a little sparkle iridescent. Uh, vintage flower there. On this side, um, they all have a cutie. This is just, I love this little girl. I don't know if you can see her ringlets here. She really does look like a little doll and she's holding her little doll. Just love that, it's precious to me. Um, more crowns on the other side. And then this is a printable. Um, I'm gonna have a bunch of digitals coming up. I just recently, um, had a watermark uh, made for me and then I couldn't get it to work, but I'm gonna be um, downloading a lot of different um, printables for you to play with, um, like this one here from a lot of my antique books from my mom's studio. And um, I just haven't been able to, um, you know, take them apart. So, um, that'll be coming up in my shop. And then I hope to do craft with me videos so you can, um, so that you can use the digitals and I'll be able to show you how um, using the digitals. Hopefully that makes sense or inspire you. Um, here's some beautiful handmade paper. Uh, this is just from Joanne Fabric. It's beautiful. It's got some gold in there. And um, I just love the pop of color. And so um, these books you'll see have more color to them. And then I have a beautiful Amity Bloom um, tag with a little piece of sorry silk down here. And um, I made 
all three books this gorgeous little rose tag there's all kinds of stuff on here there's fussy cut rosebuds butterflies antique trim little um chris my little crisscrosses some more of that golden um embroidery color here just love it and so that goes there uh this side um the other side of that handmade paper the texture is so beautiful and it's not card stack but it's nice and sturdy um, another Amity Bloom tag, little piece of fabric with another embroidery uh, crisscross on there. I tea dyed her papers for this book too. And then this sweet little mama bird, just love. They all have a little piece of crochet and then a little sequin flower there. Just love, very sweet. And a little deckled edge on it too. Um, and then here's a page of a vintage book that I um, got at an antique mall place. And it's that rag paper. If you look closely, you can see it just has a wonderful feel to it. And I love um, the typed in red. The whole book is, is pages like this. I just think it's really neat. And I think whoever was the printer or publisher was working on, you know, the layouts and stuff. So I just think that's cool. I should probably look up the age of the book. It's definitely 1900. It's a gorgeous book. Um, it's too far away, otherwise I'd go get it, but um, they all have this beautiful um, sari silk, a mother pearl button, some antique fabric here, and then I have another little notebook here, and I love the writing, so I just collaged a little piece of the writing on there for interest. Um, here's just another cute little um, ephemera and some uh, d uh, little journaling cards. Um, antique lace there and then everybody gets this little cutie here he's just so cute <laughs> I just love the looks on their faces um, and then they all have a little tuck spot on this side and then in the tuck spot is a piece of antique or vintage ledger um, another chapter one tag with some sorry silk ready for journaling and um, there's another image, but it's for the other side. Oh, and then just some really pretty antique lace. That's from my mom's shop there. She had a trunk full of antique laces like this. So I have um, a big box of all of these laces. So I really like using them. Um, so here's the center of the signature. It's this gorgeous, um, I think this is Ruby and Pearl. It's either Ruby and Pearl or Amity Bloom. As always, let me know in the comments if you need to know exactly where the papers are from that I'm using here. I have um, so many different ones to, to that I use. Um, I would be all day listing them, but just leave me a comment. Just, you know, oh, the blue center paper or something like that. And I can let you know where it's from. So pretty. Like I said, this pop of color. Um, they all have some, um, oh, and I didn't mention the covers are all made from, this is Amity Bloom paper, and then um, the other two are vintage wallpaper, and I think this one is vintage wallpaper also. Um, so, yeah, and so um, inside on the blue page, they all have a piece of that beautiful blue um, wallpaper, probably from the 1930s. And then just some little lace, some little tabs. They all have a little tag that says follow your heart, uh, stamped in navy blue. I always like these little tags. A little picture of a pet on the other side I think would be so cute. Um, and then uh, they all have this beautiful butterfly, some trim, some printed ledger from my stash. Um, this will probably go in my shop as well. I have some really pretty ledger that has... Um, the red, the blue ink, all gorgeous. The script on it, it's all really cool. Um, here's the other side of that beautiful poetry. And then on this, um, this is the other side of the handmade paper. And then um, I just added a piece of um, tea dyed fabric with some little embroidery. They all have this sweet little charm. The charm came out really pretty if you can see that and then some seam binding some lace and then here's another um, printable that will be in my Etsy shop this is from this I can kind of show you um, this is from a book that I got 
um, a really, really long time ago. And it's filled with um, just all kinds of cool stuff. Um, well, that it's kind of heavy, but um, it's just beautiful. And it's falling apart when I got it. So um, I love these little onion skin papers too. Um, but they're just, it's full of these etchings. And so um, I will be scanning um, some of these um, for you to play with. Look at this. There's so many of these. And it basically goes through life. There's everything in here, um, which is really, really cool. This one says enticing the butterflies. Isn't that gorgeous? So, yeah, I mean, it's just packed full of imagery. And I got this at a flea market up in New England. Um, so you can stay tuned for that. So this is a little printable of one of the pages. And it just says childhood, springtime, life. And so there's all four seasons in the book. And um, it's just really neat. I love looking at it. It took me a long time. I've had it over 20 years and I just have never been able to um, do anything with. It's just been on my shelf, um, enjoying the scenery. <laughs> and um, the more I work with these um, images, the more I realize, you know, I need to do something with them. Um, so yeah. So um, here's the other side, and then I just clipped onto the corner here, just some fun little um, ephemera pieces, little cuties. And then um, they all, all the books have a handmade slide um, with the robin's eggs in there. And then it's attached to the corner with a little garment pen. You know, let me take it off so you can kind of see, and you can move it around wherever you want in the book. But on the on each pin, you can see here, and you can add if you have a little snippet of a dress or. Um, hold on, I wanted the pearl. Well, I'll do it later. But you can see here, it's just little snippets. You can add to this um, if you have a little hanky and you know you love the embroidered flower on there. This is a beautiful little place for you to put it, and. Um, they're, they all have this um, eyelet here, and so, yeah, and then um, I chose the handmade paper because it's woven, and it can, you know, it's durable. It'll be able to hold this pin no problem, and you could always put a little piece of washi tape um, on the other side coming through, but I don't think it's necessary because the handmade paper is all woven. Um, but of course, um, that would be a nice little decorative thing too you could add to your book here. Um, so here's some more writing pages. Like I said, I wanted to make sure I gave you a lot of writing pages. So here's a whole bunch more. You can really see the fun I had with the um, paints and things. I can't wait to do that again. Um, it was a big mess, otherwise I'd do it on camera and show you guys, but... Yeah, I don't want to scare you, but it's like paint flying everywhere. <laughs> it's super fun. Um, so all of them I made a, just a collage tag using some of the wallpapers, some trims, some embossed papers, laces, some of that writing. Um, just to sort of inspire you if maybe uh, you wanted to try the collaging. Of course, it's ready to be journaled on the back. And again, if you have a little flower or something that you want to add, you know, you can just add it to all of these elements here. That's what I love about these little books. You can just add your own personal touches to them. Um, here is the other side of the music paper. I did add a little teacup to remind you, you know, stop, make a cup of tea, enjoy the little things. Hopefully these books take you away when you're looking through them. That's my intention, um, and especially as I'm creating them, I mentioned this all the time, but I literally just completely forget about everything going on in the world, and I just get lost in all the beautiful images, and um, it's really nice, it's really fun, 
And so I hope it does that for you as well. Um, so here we are, that's the end. Here's the back page, this gorgeous rose paper here. And then I just added these sweet little birds. I crumpled, I printed it on linen paper and then I crumpled it just for um, interest. There's that gorgeous ledger paper. It's just really cool. I love it paired with the birds. And so he goes right on here or she. Kind of looks like a, a boy bird. <laughs> and then this is a pocket. So that's the beginning of the signature. So there's a pocket here. And here's the the end pocket here. I made this sweet little mother of pearl button. Um, and then in the pocket, I did give you some things. If you did want to do your own collaging, here's some fun papers, some vintage text. This is from French book. Um, one of Sam Poole's fun little strips. And then some wallpaper and some other really pretty um, delicate papers. And then a little cutie. <laughs> Those just kind of go in there and you can add more. And then I made this little bird tag. This is um, trim from a really old garment. It's beautiful, it's falling apart. So I could only use little pieces of it, but it's so beautiful. And then the very last page I made a little, um, oh, and just so you know, the paper clay is very durable. Um, it's very, very durable. You don't have to worry about it being glass and shattering and all of that. Um, it will break if you, you know, take a hammer to it, but it's very durable. Um, and I didn't mention, but the images are all done in the glossy accents and then a matte finish. And then I just edged it in gold. I kind of forgot that part. So, um, I don't know if you heard it hit my desk, but it's very durable. Um, and then uh, on the back page here, this really fun tassel trim. Um, I love this pop of color here, the orange paired with this, this beautiful rose paper from chapter one. And then I just made a little notepad with some papers I had on my desk. Some of the coffee dyed um, papers, some music paper, some more ledger and then pink, and then I collaged this really pretty um, flower pattern here, uh, some seam binding. I did add a really pretty sparkly golden heart, and then this is some antique lace. It's Irish, I think it's so gorgeous, and I just attached a little pearl there, and then that's the end. This one has a little piece of the writing paper. All the books are signed, uh, my name and the date. So I hope I remembered all of the details. These are um, going in my Etsy shop today. The listing should be up. If you're watching this video, the, the listing should be in my um, Etsy shop. So um, if you're interested, have a, a look over. The, um, the link will be down below. And um, let me go through the other two. So that one is blessed. This one is gratitude. Same little girl. I'm going to go through kind of quickly and I'll show you what's different. Here's the inside papers. This one, and you can see the Etsy listings for the different papers. This one has some Tim Holtz wallpaper, but all the same components. Um, more or less paper flowers. The little ballerina girl is different. Again, you can check the Etsy listings for that. Um, same little mama bird. The music, the fun pages, they all have the little Tim Holtz and little cutie in there. All things grow with love, some fun papers, same little mama bird. Um, this image is different, but they all have the printables. They all have the rose tag, little cuties. I love these children. They just make me so happy. They all have this little bird. This little one, little cutie, I just love him. And this image is different. Oh, but they all have the typewriter keys too that say love across the top here. I forgot to mention that. They all have follow your heart, beautiful butterfly. Little charm here, little glassine bag. They all have this. Here's your writing pages. 
um, th this tag does change. I'm not going to take it out, but um, the picture of the tag will be in the description box. All of them are an Ami Bloom tag, and I use the same elements on each one. It's just the actual tag is different. Little teacup, stop. Um, they all have the antique trim tag. This is different, um, but they all have the same notebook, and they all have the same trim there. And then, like I said, the back pages are different. So is that gorgeous um, wallpaper on the cover. Beautiful. And they all have this. This is gratitude. So we've got blessed, gratitude, and happy. <laughs> I just love that little face. Uh, let's see, the inside papers of this one are blue. That's more Tim Holtz wallpaper. Beautiful little crown wax seal. Little cuties. I just love these paper flowers. They're so delicate and so pretty. There's your little superstar. <laughs> Ta-da! So cute, little mama bird. There's your pages. So cute, so fun. This is the little guy for this book here. I just love him too. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. I love that handmade paper. So um, please leave me um, questions if you have any in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing and um, following me and my work. Of course, you can um, find me on Instagram at Under the Night Moon. Um, I love my Instagram page. It's so much fun. And um, again, if you have any questions or comments about any of the materials that I've used, um, let me know. I'm always here and will answer definitely within a day or so. So um, just thank you so much today for watching and um, just have a really wonderful Sunday. I'm so grateful so very blessed to be able to um, do what I do and have a um, have a format to be able to show you the details up close and um, I'm just a grateful person so have a wonderful day thank you so 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 much of course you can follow the notifications by clicking the little bell that'll let you know when I upload new videos um, I don't know what else to say. Just thank you so much and have a really, really beautiful day today. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.